In today's Sunday Solution, we're going to fix this annoying door sliding open while we're driving down the road. It's time for another Sunday Solution. Let's, Let's go. go. So what we're going to do, cut this off first. I put my spectacles on. We got this little piece of plastic and I got this snap kit off of Amazon. So this was what was in here before somebody had built it, but it had uh, one of the snaps had broken. So basically I ordered a little kit and I'm gonna repair it. So this is the snap kit. I don't know, I have any idea how to use it. I'm just trying to guess it, figure it out. I believe I gotta hit it with the hammer. So it takes a little practice, apparently. Hopefully I got it there. You gotta drive these on him, but not too hard. There. So I think I got it. It looks like I got a nice round ring on there. Tap it a little bit more just to... That should do it. Okay, that's that. And then we'll go inside. And all this is is a little piece of plastic. I don't know where I got it. I haven't found it yet. I will put a link in for the snap kit. You can probably use any material you want. But uh, let's go inside and I'll show you what we're gonna do in there. So basically what we have here is one of these, it's a screw with a snap on it. And there's one placed here there's one that was here and the previous owner made up this little strap which broke on me we replaced the snaps like you saw before and then we're gonna put this back in here and hopefully we'll be good to go go. Now all we should have to do is snap her on. And there we go. So on travel days, or when we're parked I guess, let's pop this off. Door opens. We get ready to travel. Put it on. We're good to go. I don't know if the camera will show. That's about the thickness of that. I would say maybe eighth of an inch. So it's a pretty simple repair and pretty simple job. So snap goes on, door secure, take snap off, boom. Just like that. Pretty simple, pretty easy idea. Cost pennies. So this is the kit. This is how many there are in there. And basically you have these little backside of the snap. And you set them down there on this thing here. And you put the snap part in there. And then you drive that down with this punch. So, and that's what gives you your seal. 
So it took me a little bit of work. I wasted five of them because I was hitting it too hard. So basically you gotta tap it gently and get a nice even ring. But the kit comes with all these snaps and then it comes with the screw, which is the other snap end. So you just gotta get a piece of fabric. You could probably use a cloth if you wanted to. You could get creative with it. And uh, I just used that piece of plastic because I already had it. And the only thing wrong with it was the snap came apart. So in the future, if my snap comes apart again, I'll just use the kit and uh, put her back together. I like the setup. I actually went into Tiffin with that when it broke and they laughed at me. They're like, we didn't do this. And I'm looking at it and I'm going, yeah, you probably did, but who knows? So uh, that's that. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in there. And like I say, I'll leave a link in for the snap kit and a piece of plastic. I ordered uh, some plastic that I thought would work, but it was way too thin. It was only 80 thousandths, I believe. And when I got it, I just got it a little bit ago. Um, it wasn't gonna work, it's too, it's too thin. It, I mean, it probably would work temporarily, but um, I don't know, I might cut a piece out and try it and see what it looks like. And, uh, you know, keep it as a spare, but I think it's too thin. I could show it to you. So, this is what I got. I mean, you see here, it's really thin, it's like paper. So it needs to be at least triple that. That's what happens when you try to buy this stuff online. I probably would have been better to go to like a hobby store or something and find something in there, but anyway, took a shot on Amazon I lost. So. I hope this helps anybody that has that set up on their coach. And uh, we've been struggling with how to repair this for a little bit. And the problem I was running into is because of the way this is recessed in here. I had to figure out something and that's why I went back to this idea and it clears our slide out when it comes in. So there's no issue there. So it's just a, it's a simple, uh, simple solution really to uh, the problem of having that door pinned instead of having it roll back and forth every time you turn the corner. So uh, we like it. It seems to be functioning properly. I'll give it a shot and see how it holds up. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.